Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a voting poll on Google Forms. The first thing you want to do once on the Google Forms dashboard is tap on blank quiz from the top template options. After you have tapped on blank quiz, you'll be redirected to a new page. And right where you see blank quiz, you can select the text right there. And from there, you can type in your voting poll title so let's say for example voting poll after doing that if you would like to change the font style or size you can also do that and you can also change the color if you want to do this all you'll need to do is tap on the icon in the top right hand corner that says customize theme after you have done that you'll see header and right where you see roboto on my screen if it is a case that you would like to change the font style, you can select the font style that you would like to use. You can also change the font size as you can see right here. And you can also change the font style of the questions and also the font size of the questions. And by scrolling down, if you would like to add a background image, you can do that. Or if you would like to change the color, you can do that as you can see right there. You can also change the background color as you can see there. Now, after you have customized it to your liking, you are going to tap on Untitled Question. And this is where you are going to enter your first question. So, for example, let's say my first question, for example, say it would be pineapple or orange. So let's say for example that is my first question then you can select the question style right where you see multiple choice you can tap right there and if you would like to use multiple choice questions or check boxes or drop down you can select any one of these options or if you would like to use a tick box grid you can do that but let's say for example sake I would like to use check boxes for my first question then right where you see option one from there, you can type in, for example, say pineapple. Then you can add top right where you see add another option. And right there, I could type in orange. And if you would like to add another option, you can also do that. Keep in mind with each line, you will see the picture icon. So if it is a case that you would like to add an image with the question or better yet with the answer, you can do that. So you could tap on add image right there. After you have done that right where you see answer key, you can tap right there. So if it is a case that you would like to set up points depending on the question or the answer that they suggest, you can do that also by tapping right there. And you can also add an answer feedback if you want. And then you can go over to the bottom right hand corner. And if you want to make each question and answer required, so they must answer to move on, you can simply toggle it on right there. Now to add more questions, you'll tap on the plus that says add question. Then from here, you can type in your second question. So you can do that real quick. After typing in your second question, again, you can select where you see short answer. Then from there, you can select the answer type that you want. So I'll select multiple choice for this answer. Then you can type in whether you, you can type in the question and answers as you can see right there after doing this all you'll need to do now you can go up to the top menu option and this is where you're going to be seeing your responses as you can see right here and also you can choose to link them to a sheets if you want and we're going to tap on settings after tapping on settings you can see the different settings feature so is it a case that you would like to release the marks after the person has answered it immediately? You can do that. Or would you like to release it after you have manually reviewed it? You can select any one of these options as you can see right here. And by scrolling down, you can see the different options that you can also edit. So you can choose if you'd like to edit any one of these options. And to get a preview of how it looks, you're going to tap on preview in the top right hand corner and you can see how it looks right there. So you can see the first question that I had suggested indicated that it is required to answer as you can see right there. 
now we are going to close this and now to share it all you'll need to do is tap on send in the top right hand corner after tapping on send if you would like to collect the email addresses when you are sending out the form you can simply tap right where you see do not collect and from there you can select responder input and also if you would like to share it via link instead of emailing it all you'll need to do is tap on the link icon right here and you can tap on shorten URL then from there you can share the URL and persons will be able to click on it and then go on to answer the voting poll if you would like to embed it on your website you'll simply tap on the third icon and then from there you can select the embed code by simply tapping on copy and you'll paste it right there once they have answered the questions you'll be able to come back into response and from here you'll be able to view the responses and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe